La 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 la. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Hope you've had a great week. It's been about a week and a half, two weeks since I was able to record. I keep thinking that I'll be able to get back on a regular schedule, but just looking at the calendar, it doesn't look like it. I uh, started up at Orange Theory Fitness, and so I've been going Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I used to record on Monday, so that's out. Um, I suppose I could record on a Tuesday or a Thursday, but Usually I just come home from work and I'm just like, I'm done, I'm going to sit and stitch and do absolutely nothing, so that hasn't worked. And then again, I'm planning to add another day to uh, when I go to the gym, so I'd be at the gym Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so maybe Saturday is going to be our day. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. So um, we'll, everything's in flux. We'll see when I get on a, a normal schedule again, but, you know, that's neither here and there. Um... Happy 2017. Mine's going pretty good so far. Uh, the best day so far was yesterday when I was just doing my thing, puttering around work, getting stuff done. And they said, hey, we have Monday off. And I'm like, what are you talking about? M Monday? And oh, hey, hey, it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I have Monday off. That's fantastic. And so what did we do? The first thing we did is we got a hold of our best friend, Liesl. And so she and I are going to Shepherd's Bush on Monday. Yay! And goodbye, all money for Stitch from Stash. The budget will probably be blown. Just... So that's that. Um, one thing I decided to do with the start of 2017 is I got this cute little color it in calendar off of Amazon. It's just a simple day calendar, you know, with the oh, with the months and the colorings and the stuff. Anyway, so I just write down what I work on when I have nothing well what I work on when I'm stitching so I've just kind of filled it in as I go along nothing super fancy but it's more recording than I have ever done in the past so we'll see if that holds and if it doesn't that's okay too at least I tried it's kind of fun to maybe color in a little line of something as I sit here and uh, sit here and plan what I want to say to you guys and write down what I have worked on um Let's start things off a little bit different with a... Finish for Friday on Saturday. So a hundred billion years ago, actually it would have to be in 2010 since that's when Lizzie Kate released this piece. I stitched up Snowman 10 by Lizzie Kate, as I said, on a lovely piece of Weeks Dye Works um, I don't remember the official name of it. It might have been Grape. It might have been something different. I think it was a limited edition color that I just happened to buy because I thought it was pretty when I was up at Shepherd's Bush one day. Anyway, so I stitched him on this beautiful purple fabric. And since it's January and all the Christmas stuff has been put away, truthfully the Christmas stuff never got taken out, Anyway, he is presiding over the, uh, the living room, sending his cheer, and a little red cardinal on his hat, and I had it framed in this, uh, well, let's see if we can get a good look at the frame. Anyway, it's sort of a blonde wood with a white finish on the braiding, and I think he is absolutely lovely. So there is my, one of my past finishes for y'all. Put him safely to the side. So I've had a fairly productive beginning of the year, but only because I was nearly done with a lot of stuff at the end of the year. So let's take a look at the... Progress Report. Um, the very first finish of the year was the uh, Gratitude from Lizzie Kate. So Gratitude turns what we have into enough and that was just darling. Uh, about the only modification I made is it called for a blue button up here on the blue flower, but I decided to put the pink button that came with the kit up there on the blue flower, just for a little bit of contrast. So there is that. I had run out of the uh, grapevine in the lettering, so I had to pause on that, and I bought it when I was down in Arizona at the Attic Needlework, so I just had to stitch into enough 
And so I did that and finished him up on the third or the fourth, something like that. So, so there is that super cute guy done. Let's, let's shuffle piles of stuff around here so we look kind of organized. We're never organized, we just, you know, put on a good show. All right, the second thing I finished, whoops, we've got a fuzz, is um, Pretty Little San Francisco from Satsuma Street. I just finished this one up on Tuesday? No, Wednesday? Wednesday, I think it was. I stitched and stitched and stitched and stitched on this one while I was in Arizona at the grandparents' house. So I got a ton of it done and there was just a little bit left to do when I got, got back. Mostly, let's see, it's on the other side. Uh, just a little bit of the clouds in here and the hill and the rest of this building. So that's that area right there was all I had left to do. It took about two days to do. So I'm glad to have it done. It turned out really, really nice. But I tell you what, guys, it was a bear with that one for all the color changes. Absolutely beautiful. But I swear you stitch five, six, maybe 10 stitches, and it's time for another color because you've stitched the whole block or design or area, we you know, where that little color comes from. Except for the white and the clouds. And those were, I used B52 instead of white. I don't remember what it was called for. I put the pattern away. Actually, since I printed it up and saved it the other day, I shredded the pattern since I marked it all up. All, all up. So that was finish number two. Uh, finish number three is Wonderful Walk by RTO. Granted, I was all but done with this one except for the shadow underneath Mr. Dragon's feet because I wanted the credits for Stitch from Stash. And so one day I came home and I put the shadow in underneath his feet. So here is Wonderful Walk all done. And I was looking for a nice font to do for my signature, so I found one that I liked, a little backstitch font, really pretty. So I just threw it up right there, and I'm not sure if that's where it's going to stay or not. I might pick it up and hide it in the shadow a little bit better than just being out there in the middle of nowhereness. But I like that font. Super cute. The only problem is the font didn't come with a number set, so now I'm trying to find a font and a number set that I like equally well. So there is Wonderful Walk by RTO. And then now one that I haven't finished, but it's really close to being finished if you've been following me along in my daily obsessive Look what I'm doing! on um, Stitch Mania is Tell Me a Story, also by RTO. So these two are companion pieces. So there's what it's supposed to look like. We'll tuck that there. So what it turned into is right here. I have two little nieces. One is a blonde and one is a copper penny redhead. So I turned her into a copper penny redhead. And then I wasn't sure that the pink dress that is charted, let's see if I can hold this up. So the pink dress that is charted on this one, I thought that would be too much of a clash. Um, wouldn't really fit very well, so I looked at the uh, the dragon's wings pointing in the wrong place. Here we go, dragon's ring wings here, and he has green, and I had a lot of green leftovers from this dragon from the kit, so I uh, went with the green dress for princess, and I used the leftover green flosses from the kit for that dragon. So uh, I can tell you the numbers for her hair, uh, they are all DMC. It was 918, 920, 921, and 922 for her hair. Um, but I don't know the numbers for the, the dress since I just used what was in the other kit. And I still have a ton of greens left over in that other kit. So that's pretty funny. Uh, RTO kits for me, pretty good. Uh, had plenty of fabric left over. The cat has jumped up into my chair, so sitting down is going to be a little bit awkward. Move, princess. In the way. There you go. So uh, that's what I've worked on there. So um, probably do the back stitching this week sometime. Um, also another good credit 
for the Stitch From Stash budget. So I gave myself a regular $25 budget for Stitch From Stash. And then the, uh, oh goodness. So the two RTO kits are worth about $10 additional. Uh, Gratitude is worth an additional $10. And so that's another, what, $30. And then uh, Pretty Little San Francisco is worth $15. So that's $45 on top of the $25. So $70. And I'm still going to Shepherd's Bush. And we're probably going to spend it all. All right, that quick, quick, quick edit was for, for a sneeze. I didn't need, want you guys to see me sneeze and making this all over camera. Still might sneeze again. All right. So then sometime while I wasn't doing anything, well, actually the nights when I came home from the gym. Um, excuse me, my goodness, I can't breathe all of a sudden. I blame the cat. I decided to put a little work into my Gypsy Mermaid. Uh, the main conversion is done. All I have left to do is decide what I'm going to do with the um, seahorses. I'm still extremely undecided on those guys. So I've just been working on the non-converted bits. So... I finished up the anchor. The last time you saw it, the anchor was partially completed. I finished up the border across to here. I filled in all this lovely blue, and I started on the medallion. So all this sort of area right here, I worked on this week, just a little bit at a time. Come home from the gym, eat a, a little bit of food for dinner, eat a little bit of dinner, and then sit down in here and watch you guys on floss tube and work a little bit on my uh, Gypsy Mermaid. So that that is where she stands. Um, loving her. Absolutely loving her. But still kind of trying to decide what I want to do for her seahorses. <sighs> I've thought about taking them out, but they're kind of, yeah, yeah, like I say, I don't know. I thought about taking them out and just, um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Oh, just sort of charting, you know, the rest of the emblem that the seahorses are next to for North South, or it's the East and West ones. Just, you know, charting them out a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I'm completely undecided. Undecided. All right. Next portion. Just a little tiny bit of. Stashquisitions. So I signed up for a postcard pal with Stitch for Stash and my postcard pal has been absolutely amazing. She sent me a Christmas card and she sent me another little little card with some fun stuff in her and I finally made it out and I have cards to send to you. I have cards to send to her, to you. I have a card. I just need stamps and to go to the post office. I hate the post office. But I have stuff. I have stuff. Anyway, in addition to the card, uh, I don't know how she figured it out, but she must have figured out what my user, what email address I'm using on uh, One Two Three Stitch for my wish list because all of this was on my wish list and I didn't expect it at all. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Postcard Pal. Um, I didn't tell her I was going to thank her, and I didn't ask her if I could use her name. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Postcard Pal. But she saw that um, Bloom Where God Plants You by My Big Toe Designs was on my uh, wish list. And so she ordered that up and had it sent to me. Um, she also sent... Oh, I've got a big old mess of everything. Anyway, she uh, sent had them send all the uh, flosses that go with it. So there are the flosses. There we go. That's kind of organized all right there. And she sent, uh-oh, wonderful, beautiful linen. Isn't that gorgeous? What does it say? It says it's flax. It's beautiful. Just so creamy. And it's not, well, I haven't taken it out. No, it's not super stiff, so that will be wonderful. And then... She sent me, this is the only reason why I think that she has, knows what my uh, 123 stitch wish list is, is these cute little dinky dye uh, purple enameled scissors that were on my wish list. That, funny enough, I uh, oh, bought me a pair of the same ones just right before the start of Stitch from Stash. 
but I don't care. I love scissors. I will have two of the same kind of scissors. In fact, I already do have two of the same kind of a lot of different scissors. So um, right now I'm out of a work project. So I think um, today while this uploads, um, when I'm done with all my household, cho cho household chores, I'll probably cut this down to the right size, zigzag the edges, and then this will be my, um, this will be my take it to work, work on it during my lunch break project. So thank you, postcard pal. That was totally unexpected. I just, I, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then the last thing that has arrived this week was my kit from European Cross Stitch for the uh, Violet's Mandala. Um, I took a little video when it first, first arrived, but then I looked at it again and not good guys, not good. So um, here we are, here is the, uh, the beads, all of the beads that are going to be used on the, uh, the Violet um, Mandala. All delicas, all gorgeous. Look at this, look at the, well, you can barely see it, but it's a whole vial of, um, oh, bicones. And it's a whole vial of bicones. Oh my goodness, they're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beads. So there are the beads to that. And then here are, let's see if I can organize it beautiful so you guys can see. That was my problem is I was looking at it and I wasn't showing you because I was that excited about it. But here are all the beautiful flosses. I look at that purple and look at that purple and the greens. I don't know what that is, but it's gorgeous. See how beautiful. And I love that they're in the floss away bags. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I know. See, the only thing I can say is look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. These I love. Look at the... Uh, the variegation in that. Ah, oh, love it. Love, 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 love. And we had the petite treasure braid, a little bit of gold. There are a couple of, are this black? Yep, a couple of blacks. More gold, a different gold. I don't know, green. And then look, look at all these cards. One, two, three, four. Four cards of this stuff must be used a lot. So there is that. And if I had been a completely smart girl and not a little bit forgetful, as we all know that I, you know, I tend to be a little bit forgetful, I would have printed up the, uh, the uh, cover page of it and, and shown you what it is that I want to stitch. But I have printed up the, um, I, I bought it on PDF, so I enlarged the pattern and highlighted the central bit, and I've just printed out the central bit to get started, and I've printed out the um, the list to make sure I can start, and so I can start. I need to, here is the fabric that I'm planning on doing it on, and it is a 28 count um, linen by Picture This Plus. Um, and in the colorway Sprite. So it is just lightly, lightly purpled, softly modeled. I need to um, cut it down and decide if I'm gonna do it on a hoop or if I'm gonna do it on a set of scrolls. I have, whew, what have I got? I've got two sets of scrolls that are, don't have anything on them. It won't fit on the small set. I think they're only like 18 inches and I think this is calls for 20 some odd inches. So then I have like a bigger set that are 28 inches. So it'd probably fit on the 28s. Um, I don't know, or it might just end up being done in, um, in the hoop, which I do a lot of stuff on the hoop, except that's a lot of fabric to have floating around on the hoop, especially since I'm not a big fan of Q-snaps because to me they're kind of heavy, which is why I like the tiny spring tension hoops, is they're lightweight. It doesn't hurt my wrist to hold it as long as I like to hold it when I'm really going and stitching. All right, so those are the Stasquisitions. I have one more thing coming from um, Stitch and Frog. I got noticed that, that shipped the other day, and I ordered that on like 
Jan, no, December 31st. Uh, yeah, December 31st, right before the Stitch from Stash cutoff. So that is coming. I'm excited for that. So now let's do the fun and games wherein I cannot read my own handwriting, which we all know is... Shout outs to the Floss Tube newbies. Um, as always, I will put the links to their um, uh, front page uh, down below instead of the, to the first video so that you can then click over to their video and start watching the first video. So, um, our first, the first one I have, well, I have like three pages, pieces of paper and then, you know, this one. And they were all written down at different times, so I'm not exactly sure the order of who came first, but it doesn't matter. They're all, they're all good. It's all good, right? So, um, Kat McCauley gives us an introducer, introduction to herself and her stitching. Um, she, uh, if I remember correctly, she enjoys Hades, especially the designs by Hannah Lynn and Ronald Spangler. So, go check her out. Um, excuse me, guys. I'm going to cut here while I sneeze. All right. Back. Much better. And as my family says... Big sneeze, no poison. There's a story to that. I might have to explain it one day. Anyway, so our next floss tube newbie um, is Soft Stitches. Um, she shares a few of her finishes with us, um, a, including a Darling Santa that was ornament sized. Um, and her current whip is sort of a stylized um, pop culture, you know, pop art sort of uh, Dalek. Um, nice lines, very beautiful. The day, like, it was, it was kind of fun. Uh, I know my best friend, Liesl, will want to be looking for that one. Uh, because she, her family is a Doctor Who family, so my, they'll be looking for that. So, Jessica, Stitching and Mo, which I assume is the abbreviation for Missouri. Anyway, she starts off with the Know Your Needle Worker tag, and then, um, shares some of her whips, uh, including, uh, Oh, a lovely piece of an eagle in flight with uh, mountains and a sunset behind it. Um, it's it's really, really beautiful. And then she also showed a, a Hawaiian hibiscus finish that I just loved. It was really beautiful. Really well ex executed. All right. Our next newbie is Crafty Magpie. Uh, she starts us off with the introduction and the Know Your Needle at Worker tag. That is a great tag. It's just so easy to start with, has a format, you can just really get going with it. Um, she, uh, all of her, I've seen four videos I think she's done now. Um, most of them have her daughter and it's kind of hilarious to watch them going back and forth. Um, for the first one she ran out of time but prom promises to show more whips and she did show her whips in video number two. I'm going to pause again and sneeze, you guys, because I don't know what's going on. All right, back again. Another big sneeze. I'm going to blame the cat. Where's Princess? Are you sitting over here watching what we're doing? Did you see her? Yep, yeah, there she is. Anyway, so, uh, Floss Tube Newbies. Okay, uh, then we have Penny Bowling, who does the quick intro. Um, she, uh has some beautiful finished pieces. Oh, she did a piece of key lime ply. I just loved it. It had some specialty stitches in it. I love the colors. Absolutely beautiful. And then she's also working on a beautiful uh, Tinkerbell that is in a sort of a 50s vintage style dress. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, next up, Miss, w Miss Lily. Ms. Lily. No R, just MS, Ms. Lily. Uh, she gives us a quick intro, and her grandmother taught her how to stitch, is one of the things she mentions. Um, she shows some of her very, very first projects, and then she has an amazing, beautiful finish of uh, Teresa, Win oh, Teresa TW's, you, Teresa, you, you know, with all the blended threads and the stuff. I can't say her last name, it starts with a W. Anyway, of her piece that has the castle in the foreground with the dragon all wrapped around it. She's finished that and has it framed, and it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So that is Ms. Lily. Uh, Margarita X Stitch um, is originally from Russia, but is now a resident of Australia. Uh, starts us off with the Know Your Needle Worker tag. 
Um, she's working on the Victoria Charms pattern, Victorian Charms kit from Dimensions. Um, I think she's got like the middle page, and as far as I could see, it's like she stitched the whole middle bit, backstitched the whole thing. It it looks gorgeous. It's it's really really beautiful. Um, she's done a few additional videos since I wrote her down, and she shows more of her whips and stuff. And so she's she's cutie. Um, loser stitching to win, who asks that we call her Wheels, um, gives us an intro and shares a bunch of her projects. Um, she is also working on the Epic Pokemon, so I think all you guys working on Epic Pokemon should belong to, to the Epic Pokemon Club. I, there should be a stitch along for that somewhere on Facebook, and there probably is, and since I'm not stitching it, I'm not looking for that sort of thing. Anyway, she has some really interesting and, and fun projects going on, so go check her out. Alrighty, uh, Clara Eldridge. Um, she starts. She started off uh, with some quilting stuff, but she does get into cross stitch and and her whips. Um, she has just finished up, I think, if I remember correctly. I just anyway, Lizzie Kate's Things Unseen, and she's working on a Joan Elliott Celtic greeting. Um, she is part of the Stitching Pirates group on Deviant Art, so go look them up. And she's done another video, which I, I really enjoy, and I really enjoy her sense of humor. Um, it's just slightly wry, slightly... Anyway, I loved it. Enjoyed that very much. Um, J.A.M. Stitcher. She uh, says she's very new to stitching. Uh, she is loving the uh, Ship's Manor, uh, Beautiful Sea, uh, Mystery Stitch Along. And then she shares a couple of her other whips and things with us. Uh, 22 stitches. Uh, her mom and grandmother taught her how to stitch. Um, she shared, th 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 shared some of her whips and stuff, which were really beautiful to see. And she is working on a snowman, snowman piece that's to be a gift. And if I remember correctly, she was making a few color changes to the snowman as she went along. Uh, Five Stitcher starts us out, and she is coming to us from the Fife section of Scotland. Um, her her partner raises Shelties, which I absolutely adore because my first dog was a Sheltie. He loved tennis balls and the sound of his own voice. So that that little boy, he barked a lot. Anyway, she also starts off with the uh, Know Your Needle Worker tag. Um, in the background, she has finished. Uh, Celtic Christmas that you guys know I'm working on and it's just beautiful. It's framed. It's on the wall Inspiration. I'm going to get there one day um, She also answers just a couple of the uh, questions from the year in review tag that the community helped Jessie Marie put together um, And she shares her finishes and stuff like that. And so that was really fun to watch All right then, some of the ones I've seen while I've been here sitting at home, the new ones, is Claire Seaside Stitcher. Starts us off with the Know Your Needle Worker tag. Like I say, that is a great tag to start off with. Um, showed us a lot of her Christmas stitching before she put it all away. Um, she's finished three Dimension stockings, and they're really quite marvelous. And that's I've done a few Dimension stockings, so I know all the work that goes into one of those. So, you know, good on you, Claire. Uh, Zara Oliver uh, shows her first start, which is a sugar skull. And then for some reason, she said she got off count. And so she put it aside and started over again with another sugar skull. So she's working on that. And she shares a couple of her other whips. Um, she enjoys Halloween and dark type stitching. So you ladies who do dark Halloween and the uh, dark stitching, you might want to get a hold of her and wrap your arms around her and drag you into the group. Um, I also loved her because she had awesome magenta and purple hair. You guys would never believe me, but I used to have purple hair. I miss it. I miss my purple hair. All right. Then we have Nina Needle Needleworker. Um, so she is working on the uh, Joan Elliott's Chinese Phoenix, and it is just absolutely stunning. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, she also shares with us a few uh, work on some Dimensions Gold kits that she's, she's done some work on as well. Now, there are three others who 
I swear, I wrote down, and I don't remember if I gave shout-outs to, but one was Toshage, and I'm pretty sure I gave her a shout-out, but for some reason, her video was labeled 001, and there wasn't any in the background. So I'll do another link to Toshage below. She was cute, Australian. Um, I, I like her. And then there's Kate's Crafting World, which I swear I shouted out, but I can't remember. And also Wishing Well Stitches that I... I don't know. I, like I say, I do I get to watch you guys at work. So, you know, I have two monitors and I put you you guys up on floss tube in one corner so I can kind of listen as I do my spreadsheets and the accounting stuff. And so I tend to take notes on little bits of paper, you know, off of my notebook at work and then bring them home and put them in a safe place until I do the shouts out here. I swear I must be missing a paper or two because I'm like... I thought I, this, this person's new, but I don't remember doing a shout out, but I remember writing stuff down on a piece of paper. So if I've missed you, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Go check out Jo uh, Gregoire, cause she does shout outs too. Um, she didn't do them in the last video. She was a little bit sick, but I'm sure she'll get back to it in a minute or two, just because she is that awesome. All right, so that is shout outs, that's progress, that's stash, that's all the things. You got to see Princess. We need to say, hey, William, Iona, Sophia, and Michaela, I hope you're having a great Australian summer. I'm having a okay US winter. All my snow melted. Oh, you guys, the video. <laughs> it cracked me up how many um, Australians commented and said, we love snow, show more pictures of snow. And I'm like, you guys are nuts. You don't have to live in it. But the, the day I showed the snow, it turned out we got 14 inches of snow that day. Um, the guys who came to shovel the walks didn't show up until about one o'clock in the afternoon. And the... Uh, the parking lot was not plowed until four at night. So the sun's starting to go down and the plow guy finally shows up. So yeah, there was just no way I was going to work that day. And then I love work. I love work. They let me use a sick day for that one. Anyway, yeah, because I'm sick of the snow. And then it rained and all the snow's melted and now we have left are those ugly um, gray brown mounds of snow you know, where they push all the snow out of the parking lot into a ugly gray-brown pile of yuck. So that's that. Uh, I was going to mention something else, but I really, I don't, I can't remember. It's gone. Oh, to my head. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. I don't know when I'll be back. Like I mentioned at the, the front of the video, my schedule's in a little bit of flux. I've got Crafty Stitchy Night with the girls coming up. I've got the work, um, not the work Halloween party, the holiday party. We didn't have our holiday party before the holidays, so now we're having it after the holidays. So I've got the work party coming up. I'm going to Shepherd's Bush on Monday. Woo! Goodbye, stash budget. Woo! Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Hope the frog stays far, far, far away from your house. Or send him over here. I don't mind him too much. We just pat him on the head, feed him some um, flies. Try to convince him to, to stay in the sink. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just, I'm just yammering on at this point. Hugs and stitches, everyone. Bye.